do it now. No. Now. See you later. That keeps me motivated in the gym every day. Is it just, no, I'm calling that bit. <laughs> <laughs> Harry and Gary, 14 years. And then we get to work. Peace. Why do you feel unmotivated to exercise? How do some people stay persistent and consistent with their training? And how can you develop this type of resistance to achieve your goals? These are very important questions a lot of people ask. And in this video, I'm going to be answering these questions based on personal experience, some athletes' experiences, and the findings of a research paper that was conducted for 40 years. For those who don't know me, my name is Kareem, I'm 20 years old, I live in the UK and I will be a medical student in the next few months. With everything being said, it's time for you to get inspired again. I want to start this video by showing you guys a very special interview I conducted myself with a very special guest. Say hello to the old version of me that was once alive but now is gone. Bro, I, don't I brought really him back like camera, so he can tell me his story. So, what was your problem? I've been training for so long and I'm even skipping leg days, training biceps every single day, training abs every single day, but I haven't been seeing any results. And I have a question for you. Why are you training from the first place? What is a silly question is that? Of course I'm exercising to look better like everybody else does to build some muscles, uh, get those abs popping, and you know, you know, like, it's just like everybody else, you know. Okay. Thank you for your time. Now, All right. you can go. See you later. That was my problem. I didn't want to get stronger, healthier, or not even happier. I just wanted to look good. And it just doesn't work like that. And funny enough, I thought that I was training hard. However, when I changed all that mentality and started focusing on challenging myself and getting out of my comfort zone by eating healthier, training harder and giving up on cigarettes, everything has changed. I've become more focused, more active and more importantly, working out has become way more enjoyable and interesting to me than ever before. So that was a brief explanation to how and why I was working out. Moving to the second point, I was really intrigued, like some of you guys, to understand how athletes stay motivated when they're training. I'm Izzy. So I decided to interview some athletes in my gym and I asked them the following questions. How long have you been training for? I think three years. Three years. I've been training for four years. Ooh. Probably about four years, I would say. Yeah, something like that. A bit inconsistent, not as consistent as I would like. No, I'm calling that bit. <laughs> <laughs> what motivates you to exercise? Staying healthy, seeing gains. Um, and I think not enough people say it about compliments. Compl compliments, man. When someone says, oh, you're looking better. Just the feeling it gives you. What? All the little endorphins and stuff, man. Like. I don't know, just like, it's a part of my routine, so. It's, quite frankly, I have very big goals to you know, compete worldwide against a lot of the top pros, so that keeps me motivated in the gym every day. Is it just, what advice would you give your younger self about exercising? Eat as much as you possibly can and train harder. And if I could tell myself that younger than when I first started, start sooner. <laughs> um, start doing it sooner. Get start. into the gym now. Or yesterday. Or the day before. Just do it now. Learn more in the early days. So don't just go and pick up weights and eat, 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 eat. Educate yourself. Take your time and learn it because it's a marathon, it's not a sprint. Now moving to the last and most important point of this video. So I was doing a research about motivation and how people are motivated to do certain things while others are not. And I came across a very interesting 40 year meta-analysis paper that I'll be sharing with you guys. So I will start by defining and explaining some terminologies for you guys to understand the whole picture. Apparently, there are two types of motivation, extrinsic and intrinsic motivation. Extrinsic motivation is when you're motivated to do something to get rewarded, or more scientifically, 
to get an incentive. For example, your only reason to exercise is to lose weight or gain muscle. Then we have intrinsic motivation, which is when you're doing an activity and are motivated for the sake of that activity. For example, think of something you enjoy doing and do not expect to get rewarded for it. In my case, I enjoy playing the piano. Now let's imagine that we have two people, let's call them Harry and Gary. And let's say that they both have a history exam. So guess who loves history? You're right, it's Gary. And guess who hates it? You're right again, it's Harry. They both said the same exam. Who do you think will get the higher grade? You guessed it again, it's Gary. And that was one of the findings of the research. Intrinsic motivation remains a moderate to strong predictor of performance regardless of whether incentives are present which means you're more likely to persist and commit to something you enjoy doing. The other finding was that extrinsic and intrinsic motivation are not necessarily rivals. They both coexist with each other depending on performance and the contingency of the incentive. That means if you want to be motivated to work out you should enjoy working out while aiming to achieve your goals. So how do you enjoy it? By being curious and asking questions to understand everything you're doing. For example, if you just started going to the gym, start asking people why they do certain exercises, how do they train, and why do they train, just for you to find your own way. Start investing more time in learning. The more you know, the more fun it becomes. Keep your incentives indirect to your performance. Instead of working out to lose weight and look better, start thinking of feeling better, sleeping better, and living better. And believe me, everything will come in time. It is soul and body. It's not just body. Finally, I want to finish this video by a quote that I really like. Success usually comes to the people that are too busy to look for it. That was the end. Please don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Peace.